Hey, 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 Aries. This is your Sacred Scribe here ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising. Ooh. Um, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Aries, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on that link in the description box if you are interested, as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Okay, so Aries, your overall energy is the High Priestess. Beautiful. So mm, you're very in tune and I'm feeling Aries, you're keeping some things to yourself. Now this could be, ooh, we've got a big yes on with spirit on that one. This could be a lover. This could be, I don't know, plans that you're making. The fool. Yeah. So you're getting ready. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the Tower. Okay. You have the World and the Fool. So there's a new beginning here. There's a leap of faith you're taking. It could be moving. The world can be moving. And I feel mm, it could be because of a tower moment, but you may be bringing this tower moment. Let's see. Tell me about the High Priestess for Aries. Tell me about the High Priestess for Aries. I just saw 203. That may be or mean something to you. Okay. So we have Nine of Stars, which is Nine of Pentacles. Six of Moons, which is Six of Cups. Hmm. And the Devil. Ooh. You're keeping something secret. What do you, it could be a love because the Six of Moons, it talks about, um, could be a love from childhood. It could be a past love. Now, it could be you're thinking about this person and you're wanting to take action Maybe you're speaking to an individual or will be speaking to an individual from the past. You're not saying anything. Could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, or Pisces. Let me get a Kipper. All right, give me one on the devil. Distant Horizons. There's something that you want very badly. And it is coming to you and you're not saying anything. You're going to move on it. You're very much keeping it to yourself and you're not going to let it go. You're not going to, I don't think anybody knows. Give me another one on the whole for the high priestess. Mm, wealthy man. So this could be the person from the past. This could be somebody new that's coming in that is a soulmate. If it's new, it's definitely a soulmate. But you're about to bring the tower down. Because <laughs> I feel like you're going to shock a lot of freaking people. All right. So you could be getting communication from spirit here as well. Especially being in the high priestess mode because you're very much tuned in. This could also be a spiritual connection. Could be twin flame. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Ten of Wands. Hmm. Seven of Wands. Some of you could be moving for work. And if this is the case, then you're keeping it secret, but you're going to be very happy. I feel like whatever you're keeping secret, whatever you're moving on, <clears throat> you're going to be very happy. It could be weighing on you, keeping the secret from people around you, but you already know and feel the outcome. It, you already know. So you're guarding this with everything you have. You, Yeah, you're guarding it with everything that you have. So give me a tipper on this. Great fortune. Yep, 
So this is very abundant. So this may be work and love. That is possible. Let's see what the tower is. What is the tower? And I almost said cancer. Maybe you're dealing with a cancer. That could be possible, Aries. Ace of Wands. Ooh, this is going to happen fast. They just said faster than you think. Five of Stars. Ooh. The Magician, the Three of Stars, and the Six of Wands. Yeah. So you're leaving people out in the cold. Now, I don't, I don't say, feel that in a bad way. Because you're keeping the secret and nobody knows, all of a sudden, boom, things shift, things change, and everybody's like, Aries, what the fuck did you do? And then you tell them. And I feel it's because you want it to manifest, right? But it's going to be after the fact. So I, I feel like this Five of Pentacles is really temporarily, right? Despair and pathway. Some people may be in despair over this. Uh, especially if you're moving here with the world card and the fool. Okay? Because it's... it's What I'm feeling is it's quick, fast change. And... People, it's it's like nobody had warning, right? Maybe some people wanted to say goodbye, say. Okay, which they still can. I mean, with technology and everything. But tell me about the world. What are you doing? Eight of moons. Yeah, you're starting, a new, you're having a new beginning. The king of stars. Definitely work is involved. Definitely an offer. So you could be leaving for work. You may get this offer from this wealthy man. And the two may follow each other. The work and the love may be synonymous here. You're definitely walking away from something. Yep, the lovers. Okay. You also may be choosing between two people. Or this lovers is indicative of the choice that you're making here. Of walking away and choosing a different life. You're literally walking into a new life. mature man so there may be an age difference here doesn't have to be Ooh, this could even be a choice between two people because you have the wealthy man and mature man so for instance if you're in a relationship wherever you are and then all of a sudden you up and move this could be the someone you leave out in the cold i don't feel this was like a serious relationship though but i i, I do feel they may be the one in despair because maybe they had expectations of something more Right? So you didn't even give them a warning? Um, yeah. Okay. So the fool, please. The fool. We have strength. Yeah. You're going to need strength to take this leap of faith. But you are going to take it. Because you're a fire sign, Aries. It's no risk, no reward. And you know that. Ten of swords. Something is definitely ending. Something is beginning. Page of Moons, you are taking this offer. Whatever this is, you're taking this offer. Yep. Let's get a kipper for this. This feels very, very good. This feels very abundant. Thoughts. So you're going to be thinking long and hard about this. This isn't going to be an overnight decision which is why it's going to weigh heavy on you because you're keeping it all to yourself but it's something that you will will think through and i and i do feel that you're making the right decision okay you will need strength right to take this action but you have strength and more aries you are fire so what is your advice for aries it's what you've been waiting for tell me what is this for Aries? What advice do you have for Aries? What advice? Mm. Five of Swords. The King of Stars. <laughs> the Ten of Moons. Okay, whatever you're walking away from. I don't know if it's you who feels defeated or... All right, this is your advice. If you're in the middle of a battle or something with the Five of Swords, 
right? You, you may be just walking away. Whatever you're walking away from, that has to do with, uh, like, it, it's a good thing. Because this energy wasn't conducive to your reality here. So with the Ten of Moons, Spirit saying, feel that emotional fulfillment. Okay? And let that magnify within you and light up. And the King of Stars, ground yourself. Okay? And really set the stage for this new beginning. For this new you. Mm, mature woman. So you've got some different people here. Okay. So now for some of you, these could be your parents and these could be the ones in despair. For others of you, I feel like you may be leaving somebody behind. It's either a love interest or maybe somebody that you were dating or it's a relative. And these people will be sad that you're leaving. Okay. All right. So let's get, I'm going to get you an animal totem to see which animal will serve you best during meditation regarding this situation. So call the animal in during meditation and really feel. Okay. Because the animal has a specific medicine that it utilizes. Okay, so look up the medicine of whatever animal, Native American animal medicine. Okay, so you have the buffalo, which is interesting because it's a 19 and it's a 10 and 10s are all about beginnings and endings. So let's see, I want to see what the buffalo has for you. Your hard work does pay off. In the long run so do not give up before the victory because victory is near go forward in confidence and knowing that your choices are leading you to where you need to be okay thank you so that's the buffalo okay call the buffalo in they can help you and like i said look up the medicine it's interesting to read usually there's a story with the native american uh animal medicine so it's always interesting all right aries i hope that resonated please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already have it if you're interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs infos down in the description box below make sure you're clicking on that link as there are many scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day, Aries, and I will, or weekend, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.